Hello, 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 my lovely little nightmares. Alright, so, like I said, I was going to start a sim series, and so, I went ahead and I made the sim. This is Noelle McAllister. Her goal right now is to be a master chef. She's neat, she's good, and she's a dog lover. Now, usually whenever I make a sim, I do, like, a color theme where, like, all the outfits are, like, that one specific color. Sometimes even the exact same shade. So this time I did something different. So I didn't go completely with each color being like the same or whatever compared to all the rest. I just happened like this pajamas was her face. Anyway, so well, ironically, some of them did end up having yellow. It wasn't the go-to thing. I was just trying to pick clothes I thought looked nice on her. So uh, the blush and the hair are custom content. I've never used the hair before, and I just recently got custom content blush, so I wanted to use them for something, and I thought, well, I prefer this blush over most of the other blushes I have, and I haven't used this hair before yet, so I thought, hey, why not for this series? I wanted to make a really cute sim, and this is a really cute hairstyle. Not exactly one that I usually go with, but it's cute. I don't usually do buns. Anyway, so I went ahead and I made my sim, and then I went ahead and I picked a lot, and I picked, uh, like, so I made the house, uh, already. But because of the fact that I didn't use cheats to get, like, more money to be able to do it, it's a fairly small house and it doesn't have much going on for it. But that's fine, because we're going to be aiming to have her have, you know, a good life. We're gonna aim for having kind of like a lineage thing, you know? We're gonna follow the generations type thing. So we're starting off with our lovely matriarch of the family, Noelle McAllister, and we're gonna play the game and try to find a good suitor for her. So this is the house that we have so far. There's one bedroom. This is supposed to be the living room. This is the hallway. There's a kitchen and there's a bathroom. Kitchen, dining room kind of set up. Fairly small, not much, and I put it in the Newcrest uh, neighborhood because of the fact that it has some stuff that's useful for uh, kids, the rambunctious whatever thing, that lifetime goal, it already has two of the things for that, so I won't have to go that far to get them, nor will I have to buy them. So for the time being, she only has 28 simoleons. And this tiny little house. But I did went ahead and I did buy this trash can, which is very useful. And seeing as lifetime goal that I gave her is cooking related, that means that she's going to end up with a lot of excess food. That I can then put into lunch bags and then throw into the trash can immediately. Which will then generate a lot of revenue. The outside of the house is really cute too, in my personal opinion. I couldn't afford windows. But I did go with, like, you know, cute walls. I like the roof. I don't usually put roofs on my houses because I don't really look at the roofs or anything. But I picked this really cute door. The doors to each of the rooms are also kind of adorable, in my opinion. I really like them. I I put effort with what little I had. I gave her a mirror and a dresser. I gave her a tiny little couch and this TV radio bookshelf. Thing, which is kind of useful in my opinion because that means that you know we have three in one I could have went ahead and done did the uh, Murphy bed thing but considering the fact that I've never had a sim die to the Murphy bed and I'm trying to do a series I feel like I'm gonna end up having that stroke of bad luck where it just happens to happen this time you know and I didn't want to risk it, so instead we just have a nice little couch, just a nice little bedroom, little TV. We'll decorate the house more as we go, and right now she needs to get a job. Let's get her a job in the cooking career, because that is what we need her to have. Once we have enough money, I'm going to buy the the bar, because to be able to get... um able to get promoted eventually she's gonna need to learn mixology and 
so I should get that underway as soon as possible. Yeah. Of course, having a job isn't her main priority in this series. The main priority is to do generations, you know, so I need her to find her soulmate and I need her to have children. And I need her to have a happy life. So my plan for Noelle was that I'm going to get her to complete her lifetime aspiration of Master Chef so that her food won't ever expire so that we can then have her quit her job and start up something else that's not so that she can be like you know a stay at home kind of person that does work at home so that she can then spend time with whatever kids she may have keep the house all nice and organized and also once she has enough money I want her to open a restaurant because, like, like I said, I want her to have a nice life, and I want, I want her to be her own person, of course. This whole entire thing isn't just about her, you know, being a baby maker or something. No, 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 she's gonna be her own person. That's why I didn't make her have a personality that's completely a homemaker. I made her good, I made her like dogs, and I made her neat. So, she is gonna be someone that's, like, you know, very clean and organized, but she's also very kind-hearted. And she likes dogs. So maybe until she gets a husband or girlfriend or whatever. Husband. It has to be a husband. Because, okay, so I do have it set up to where totally if I wanted to, she could have children with another woman. Because of the empty command center thing. But at the same time, um, I don't want that with the first couple. But the first couple is going to be a lovely setup of a man and a woman, and whatever children they have. Maybe I'll roll a dice, or just let fate decide what exactly will be their fate of how many children they'll have. Right. Okay. So yeah. So she's gonna. So my goal for her is that she's going to have some children, get a husband, complete a whole entire career while she's walking through things. And, um, open up a restaurant of her own. So I don't have all the expansion packs. One that I'm missing that I really, really want to get at some point is the Cottage Living. That's the one that I'm missing of, like, the expansion packs. I have, I don't have the kits. I don't have any of the kits because I don't find them interesting. And they didn't, none of them, like, really caught my interest in, like, their clothes or whatever or anything. I didn't get any of the. I don't have any of them, and I can't afford cottage living at the moment. So until I can get that one, we're just gonna work with whatever expansion packs I have. I have quite a few. I have like all of them except for the kits, the Mio's, the whatever, uh, collab with that one clothes company and um, cottage living. But like, I have the vampire one. I have the magic one. I have the Simpsons one. I have clearly the Star Wars one. I only got the Star Wars one because it had a couple cool hairstyles that I wanted. Because that's what I based off of what I what expensive packs I'm gonna get is does it have things that I want? Like, oh, this one had some really cute hairstyles, some really cute clothes. Look at this! I really like this countertop. This is from the uh, Snowy Escape or whatever, and I really like the countertop. Ever since I got it, I've been using this countertop in pretty much every household that I get. And so, yeah, I just, I just love it. It's so pretty. Oh, wait, she has to cook two meals while I'm inspired. Hold on, I gotta put my dog away. Be right back. Hi, I'm back. All right, so what was I saying? All right, so, you know, I care about my sim. I care about Noah. I tried really hard to make her really pretty. So, like... I'm not very good at making sims, honestly. I usually use, like, the same face template, which I like to call the Barbie face. But anyways, I reloaded the game over and over again until I got this sim, because I think she's really cute, and I turned her into Noelle. Because, I don't know. I don't know why. My just go-to face is just very pretty. But, like, there's one preset face that I usually use that I refer to as a Barbie face, because it reminds me of Barbie in some way. This isn't it, because uh, obviously I didn't use the template face with her, but still. So, I made Noelle, 
McAllister. So this is gonna be the McAllister family. And I started this out with a plan. And my plan was pretty cute little homemaker that has a career in cooking and the culinary arts. She's gonna open up a restaurant, she's gonna have a loving husband who has like, you know, a regular business career or something. I don't know. I haven't decided what because I don't know what kind of husband she's gonna have yet. She's gonna have her own little restaurant. She's gonna have cute little kids. And she's gonna have a loving family that's at peace and all get along really well. And then I'm gonna pick two of her children for, to follow in the next generation. And we'll see where their lives go. But yeah. So I have a plan with her. I have ideas. I made her specifically to be a very pretty sim that has a very deep passion for the culinary arts. I'm gonna try and get her to master the cooking skill, the baking skill, and the gourmet cooking skill. And maybe I'll get her a dog. Maybe we'll get her a dog. What's she want? Level up cooking skill. Cool. Maybe we'll get her a dog. Who knows? I might get her a dog. She now only has six dollars to her name. Looks like I'm going to have to go ahead and start doing the whole entire plan of trashing all of the food right away. Let's... What is she making? What did I tell her to make? Fruit salad. Oh. I already have a fruit salad. Uh, whatever. We can throw that one away. Okay. So yeah, I have plans. I have ideas for her. Our lovely little Noelle. The ever-beautiful darling. I also already gave her... Oops, wrong one. I already gave her some likes. Oh yeah, so two of the mods that I have, like three of the mods I have is obviously I have MC Command Center and then I have the Wonderful Whims mod which allows your sims to have periods, use condoms, and have personal preferences for what their romantic partner looks like. And so... It's very, that would be, that's going to be very aggravating if I ever decided to do the 100 baby challenge. Because of some things in that. But whatever, who cares. So, I gave her some interests. She likes wellness, baking, and cooking. And she likes retro music. And because of the wonderful limbs mod, she also has these two bonus personality traits. Which is caregiver and innocent. So she's an innocent, caring lady. I don't really care about. I have this thing turned off because the neighborhood action stuff is very hard for me to follow, and it oftentimes ends up with things I cannot follow, which makes the bills even more expensive. And I don't want to deal with that at the moment. But anyway, so for now, we're just going to stick with our lovely little Sim, and she's going to live a happy life. So, another reason why I picked to live in. The neighborhood that has like no houses is so that I can build houses. So, uh, yeah, that way they can all be kept close. The family can be kept close together in the same like area thing. But yeah. So if I open up the map real quick, so I have plans. I have ideas. So obviously this is a this is the best neighborhood for having a family unit that has children that have like you know interests in like their rambunctious whatever thing this neighborhood i want to use for building restaurants and stores and stuff mostly because of the fact that the lots are all about the same size except for these two and so i would want to put like stores on these ones so when i eventually get around to oh cook okay, out look out that's a fun name i would want to put the house there i love not the house the restaurant there. Anyways, so once I get around to like, you know, actually getting stuff done, I want to put, like, you know, restaurants, all the other stuff into the neighborhood. And as we go, we will pursue that. But for the time being, we just got our lovely little matriarch. Well, I love her. She's so cute. I'm gonna pack all of this food into little lunch bags. And then we're gonna throw them away. Uh, has her thing been built? Yes, it has. Awesome. Okay. So yeah, so I'm not going to use any cheats, unless absolutely necessary, like one of them gets stuck or something. 
which I hate when that happens. It happens sometimes, you know? Just somehow it gets stuck somewhere. A couple times there's times where my sim where my sim will glitch out where like she won't be able to open the fridge and I don't know why. Well that's fine. We'll work it out later. Yeah, I had to remove uh some ex some custom content that I had. I had like some really cool eye custom content, but I had to remove them because I didn't know which one. The one was breaking the create a sim where it wouldn't like allow me to pick like what colors to like shift through where like you know you can click on the thing and say hey I only want to see clothes in this specific color and it wouldn't let me do that. The only ones I would offer was black and brown and I don't usually do outfit colors that are just black and brown. Usually I do stuff like oh this character's gonna wear all blue, oh this character's gonna wear all green, oh this character's gonna wear all pink, oh this character's also gonna wear all pink, oh all did I already say yellow? Whatever. But yeah, you know, I do like very bright, fun colors. And so that was very difficult, especially whenever I was making a bunch of sim children that were all based in like different colors of the rainbow, just to make it easier to differentiate which room is theirs. This trash can be done loading. But yeah. So I had to remove the custom content eyes that I had, because as much as I love them, I couldn't stand not being able to organize the clothes by color. So I don't know which one it was that did that. But, yeah. So instead, I do have some eye contacts, but they're not that great. And I plan to use them if like, I make a sim that looks like a doll. Because I do have two different custom contents that can make you sim have like a dull look overlay. One is a tattoo and the one is like an actual body whatever thing, which I would have to eat to be able to set onto one of my sims if I wanted to do that. You know, do the whole entire complete uh creative mode, a full edit mode or whatever. Which I don't know, maybe I'll do that eventually if I wanna like give one of my sims like a different set of like look or something. I like freckles because I think that the thing still doesn't allow your sims to just automatically generate with freckles and that it might remove them when they get older which is aggravating but I don't use that many sims that have freckles in the first place because I don't really like the base game freckles and I haven't gone out looking for custom content freckles yet for the most part I just use whatever I have and I have this beautiful Sim called Noel McAllister. But honestly, I mostly just get custom content hair, and that's it. Like I said, I only recently got custom content blush. I also got like with it some custom content eyeshadow, but I'm not using it on her. Maybe I'll use it on a different sim. Yeah, I also got some CC clothes, but mostly whenever I get custom content clothes, it's usually for the toddlers and not for the adult sims. Because, like, I can work pretty well with most adult sim clothes, except for, for the males. The male sims, I just, I can't find custom content that I like for them, and I can't find base game stuff that I like for them. Which is a pain, but whatever. Oh yeah, she wants to go to help out in the community or something. Um, hold. Volunteer, here it is. I'm blind. Alright, let's volunteer at the soup kitchen. That sounds heartwarming and precious. Off she goes. So yeah, I have a plan for my sim and I want to find better custom content like for the male sims because I don't really like male sims. That's actually the whole entire reason why I decided to start off with just a single female sim. Because more often than not, instead of trying to make male sims, I either just make a single female sim and then have her just have children with random male sims in hopes that the children look nice. Or, I only make female sims. 
Because I cannot figure out how to make male sims to save my life. So I end up just making lesbian female sims easier than trying to make male sims. Or, so there's two go-to male sims I usually use that are already in the game to marry to my sims. And that's Travis Scott and then one dude that's in the City Living thing. Let me see. I can't remember his name. It's like Akira or something. Kai? I think his name might be Akai. Uh, he lives with the tomboy girl and the girl with the pink hair and the weird art barrette thing. I don't know. Uh, living this town. I know where he lives. I know where he lives. This school. This building. Uh, let's see. Akira Kaibo. So, I usually either have my sims end up with Akira Kaibo because he's a nice looking sim. If this thing will just load to show. So, you can see him right there. Uh, I either have my sims end up with him or with Travis Scott because. So both of them are very easy for my to get my sims to date or marry. But at the same time, because they're so easy to do that with, I don't know if I want my want my girl to end up with them. Because if they're that easy for a complete stranger that just met them and moved into their neighborhood to marry them within about the same day, or the same day sometimes it's the same day, sometimes it takes a little bit longer. Like, it does not take that long to convince them to fall for you, honestly, in my opinion. And so, with that in mind, I don't know if I want to have my sim marry someone that, that's, that that is that easy to convince. At the same time, I need to make sure that I pick a good spouse for my girl. Because, you know, I want her to be happy. I want her to have a happy life with a happy spouse and happy children. And so I need to pick a sim that is, you know, someone that wants a family. Or at least isn't someone that hates children or a sim that's non committal. So whatever spouse she ends up with, they cannot be non committal they cannot be, um, hates children, and they can't already be in a, relation, a married relationship. Because I don't want my girl to be a homewrecker. That would just be sad. That would just be sad. I need to find a male sim that I think would be a good match for her. Someone kind-hearted and lovely, but not too easy. So, I need to think about that, you know? I need to think about what would be a good spouse for her. Really need to... Yeah, I love her. I want her to get a dog. Oh wait, oh wait, oh wait. There's an easy way of getting a dog without having to spend like twenty to two hundred dollars on one. I can just go to the animal town. I can just go somewhere in the animal town and then just hang out there, see if I can find anyone for her. Here it is, Bridleton Bay. My sim likes dogs, I like dogs, there's not really that many places to go. See, that's a cool house. I never used this house before. I sometimes cheat and have my sim start off in this house. I think I once cheated to have my sim start off in this house, but I don't remember at all. Yeah, I remember that you can pretty easily find animals in this neighborhood. I mean, you can find them literally anywhere, but like, I find them most easier here. Because, although I usually have my sim start off in the house over on that side of the map, I prefer having my sims look for a pet over here near the, near the happy gay couple with their dog. Because, the other one has like ramps and whatever road thingies that cover each other and makes it very hard to see. Well, this one over here, neighborhood over here is pretty easy to see through. So it will be fairly easy to spot an animal. Not only that, but because of the fact that they have a dog park, it's likely that there will be dogs here. 
Although mostly I see cats. Yeah, no, in the other neighborhood near the happy little family whatever thing. They, that neighborhood has a lot of dogs at random. Not very many cats, but quite a lot of dogs. Well, ironically, the neighborhood that has the dog park usually has a lot of cats. Yeah, we're gonna fast try and find our sim a pet, perhaps. I don't know. It's already almost been 30 minutes. Hey, look, it's him! I like how, I like how their last names are Hecking, and they're like Brent and Brent Hecking. <laughs> I love their name. Sometimes whenever I do a 100 baby challenge, I try and get my sim to like sleep with both of them and have both of their kids so that, you know, they at least have children. Which I find really fun to think about. You know, it's like a donor or whatever thing. But then I also get a raise the child. <laughs> I don't know. I think it's just that, you know, if a sim can't normally have a child with another sim, then I want my sim to have a child with them, just so that, you know, I still have a kid somewhere in the world. My dog is just puffing. Puffing. Wow, it's really raining out. Are you Mr. Hackney's dog? I think you're Mr. Hackney's dog. Okay. It's Mayor Whiskers! It's the mayor of the town! Look at it! You know, I'm, you know, it doesn't take that long for Mayor Whiskers to end up getting adopted by someone. Never me. I never adopt Mayor Whiskers. Usually by the time that I consider, maybe I should adopt Mayor Whiskers, he's already in someone else's household. That's even without the home threat MC commands that are allowing people to, like, adopt children and stuff. And I guess pets too. People just like adopting Mayor Whiskers. And it's like pretty much only ever Mayor Whiskers, usually. On a normal basis. This is like, people are just like, Mayor Whiskers, I love you. I'm just, you're like, haha, I missed out on an opportunity. Normally I'm also just like up here around here. But I need to actively look around for. It's really raining. Raining, pouring, pouring. I haven't had breakfast yet. I'm hungry. I said made breakfast a while ago. All these booths are closed. Why are they closed? Ooh, night lights. For you. Not moving. Oh, it's Brant. There's just a random floating umbrella. Where are you? Ooh, you're one of the island ladies from the thing that gives mermaids. Island Paradise, that's it. You're one of the island paradise people. Hey look, it's the dude with the dog and the cat and the child and the wife. The gato. Yeah. Oh wait, another go to sim that I sometimes consider is the is one of the vampires. There's two households in the game that has vampires in it. And one has like a pair of siblings and I and sometimes I go for the brother. Because like he's also a pretty nice looking sim and he's nice and friendly. Like, I think he has, like, a goal in life to be, like, a good vampire that doesn't do anything bad or something. I don't know. But, like, nice. Nice sim. So, maybe I could consider him, too. I don't know, because, like, I'm not sure if I want to use a male sim that I've gone for multiple times before. Because I want to 
I want to do something special, you know? Ooh. Are you a stray? Oh no, it doesn't look like it. Who do you belong to? Oh look, it's these two. Husband and wife, husband and husband. And then just my, my single silly Sally. Well. Dog. Oh look, there's their dog. There's another dog. This stray? Darn it, this is. I guess this one's also not a stray then. But I don't. Why does this one have a last name? What? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I want my sim to marry someone nice. I've been recording for like 30 minutes. I think I'll just end off here, then I'll come back next time, and I will actually attempt to find a stray dog and make it my, my friend. Yeah, I'll end off here. Bye-bye, have a good night.